Hey guys, what's up? It's Black here. Um, so we're going to look at the major pairs, um, gold and volatility 25. Um, so on gold, we have two orders running. The first one is running at 1000 plus pips. The second is around 560 pips. So they are expecting this currency play to play out. I'll be expecting these prices to keep on pushing high until they hit this uh, descending trend line before they actually start pushing down and the bears to take control of this currency pair. So um, if you took the order, because I remember sending this first trade even in the free, in the free group, um, if you took the trade, let's keep on holding. Once prices reach here, um, you should close a major chunk of the trade because it will be left only about 10 to 20 pips, very few pips until it hits take profit. So um, the bears might start taking control of this descending trend line. So once prices reach here, you should actually be very careful and start approaching it closely. Therefore, you should actually close and secure some profits before you actually let it run to hit take profit. So um, that's all about gold. Let's look into um, Euro USD. Um, with Euro USD, I sent this analysis last week, I think. So um, I said prices will either break above here, retest and keep on pushing higher, or retrace down here, and then before they start pushing higher. Um, so prices did take the latter, this descending trend line, descending um, momentum, the bears pushed down here to this support level. And right now prices have started pushing higher. If you look at the daily time frame, you can actually see that prices have actually created a morning star. See this? This was a Friday candlestick. The candlestick has already opened because the Monday candlestick has already opened as it's almost 2 a.m. at my time right now. Um, it's actually three, about 3 a.m. It's 2.45 right now. So um, prices closed with a morning star on Friday. So I'll be expecting to see prices keep on pushing high, break above this resistance level before they actually keep on pushing out around 123 up here in this weekly resistance level. So that's why I expect Euro USD to keep on playing out in this week. We do have GBP USD. With GBP USD, um, prices did break above this trend triangle pattern. So with the triangle pattern, as you know, as prices break above here, as you can see here, prices broke above this, and then they retested this broken support area. So now it's acting as a support area, which was a broken resistance here. So as you know how it is, the size of the triangle will be the size in which the check profit will be heading to. So um, from that point there, I'll be expecting to see prices push high until they hit this mark here. Um, and let's look at the previous market structure and see if it actually resonates with any market structure, just for to be sure with this. Um, so as you can see here, the way prices will push up onto this resistance level, you can see here it acted as this resistance level by before, here it acted as a support area, here it acted as a support area. So it's actually a very strong um, market structure in the market. So it's actually a valid point in the market. So that, therefore, I'll be expecting to see prices keep on pushing higher from this point here. Oh, that's the, that's the four hour. I was looking at the daily. So I'll be expecting to see prices push from this market structure here all the way to this resistance area here. So um, that's what's up with GBPUSD, right? Um, we do have um, USD JPY, UJ, one of my favorite trading pairs. <laughs> so prices did break above uh, this descending trend line here, as you can see here on this market structure, right? And then they retested it here. They didn't touch this trend line. They, took the, they touched the trend line, they just didn't retrace all the way down to the support level down here. So um, what I'll be expecting to see in this currency pays for prices to be taken over by the bulls, keep pushing higher until around 1010, 110 here, which is actually a weekly resistance level. And from there, we'll see how the market react. If they have more bullish strength and bearish momentum, then we'll see how it plays out, right? Mm -hmm. We do have USD chef. Uh, USD chef from the daily structure. Let's start from the weekly because that's the most interesting part. As you can see from the weekly structure, prices have been pushing down crazy. But as we know, it hit this area, the monthly resistance area at the 0 0.618. 
and this descending trend line is actually it's actually an A1 setup. So I'll be expecting to see prices retrace a bit until somewhere around here, where there's actually more market structure. So I'll be expecting to see prices push here to around this market structure here to around 0.92 before I actually see a change in momentum. As you can see last week, prices closed with a doji. So therefore, I'll be expecting to see a reversal before I actually take any bullish trades, but that's my bias, I'm bullish bias in this pair because last week prices closed with no momentum after this bearish run. So I'll be expecting to see the bulls push higher a bit. So that's all about USD chef. Uh, we do have volatility 75. As you can see here, prices it broke below this descending triangle pattern, right? Descending, descending triangle pattern. And this distance from the tip to the um, support area here should be the distance from the break to the take profit, which actually resonates again with this resistance area here, this support area down here. So I'll be expecting to see prices keep on pushing low until they hit this mark. But before I actually take any trade, I'll be expecting for a little bit of retracement before actually going low. So what I'll be expecting to see in this pair is actually a little bit of pullback, and then we'll be free to actually dive down and take the trade all the way home. So um, that's all for today, guys. If the video's been of help to you, Smash that L button for me and don't forget to subscribe for future content. Peace.